My name is Chris Pelletieri, and uh, I'm an artist in residence here at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. I'm a stone carver. Artisans and craftsmen today, basically, we're an endangered species because uh, modern world is always coming up with machines that can do things that people used to do by hand. Um, there are so few places to get trained, and it's not the kind of thing that you can just pick up on your own. You need to learn from experts. And there are not that many people that can afford to pay somebody who's going to work by such slow methods and do things so carefully and take so much time. And when I was in about seventh grade, Dean Morton, who was in control of the cathedral at that time, he started a program to resume construction on the cathedral. Between World War II and 1979, the whole stone carving industry had sort of withered and uh, couldn't find people to do the work anymore. So he looked around, found some old experts in England, brought them over, and he decided he'd recruit young people from the neighborhood to, uh, to be trained. Now the tools that we use for carving stone, I have a whole tool chest full, but basically they come into three categories. There's the point or the punch, there's the claw or the toothed chisel, and there's the flat chisel. The punch or the point is like the airplane because uh, it can remove the stone the fastest. It breaks the biggest pieces and it, it gets rid of the waste the quickest. Once you've taken away all you can with the punch, you've got to switch to the claw. And it's just a tool for refining, for uh, smoothing out the surfaces a little bit. And then at the very end, you use the flat chisel because that's the tool that takes away the smallest pieces. So I have this beautiful workspace where I can do sculpture for myself or for outside people and hopefully someday the cathedral will be ready to start building again and I'll be able to help train a new uh, group of people to make more progress on, on building the cathedral.